Hello, 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 hello. My name is Hector. Welcome back to Enigmatica 6. We are back here on my Patreon server. How is everyone doing? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, last episode, we, we did some bees. We did some bees. Now, I've also streamed in between episodes and uh, I made an energy cell uh, and another solar panels just so we have a little bit of a buffer basically and I also I went I went to the nether we got another portal over there uh, and I picked up some more bees we did some more bees I was gifted an ender bee as well and I was also super lovely I was gifted an angel ring um now, if you don't know, how is everyone doing, by the way? I hope you're doing well. If you don't know how to make an angel ring, it's actually not that bad. Um, well, b barring one bit. So, like that, not too bad. And then the diamond ring is also, now we have diamond bees, that's not really that much. But the elytra is. Now, on the server, we've been currently, we've been basically killing a dragon to get the uh, dragon scale and then you can make a copy of another elytra so you basically just need one elytra uh, find one elytra and then you can kill the dragon make a copy and uh, get another one i think though that might be changing so that's just a sort of you know just a just to, just to keep you in the loop. So that's nice. But yeah, we have proper flight now uh, because people were feeling a little bit sad uh, that I didn't have proper flight. We also, I just set up the travel anchor uh, and our travel staff, which is quite nice, it's just so I can get into here. I've also now put campfires under these so I can basically just do that with shears like uh, a normal, like a completely, completely normal um vanilla sort of setup but obviously we're still using the resourceful bees beehives now i have been oh wrong wrong button uh, i'm starting to upgrade them because what i would like what i would very much like today is to get to the tier 4 beehive um because that can do 16 bees which is pretty much i don't think we're quite at the apiary um the apiary is quite a bit better you can see tier 1 but you need another start and you need four tier four beehives but what we are going to do today is we are going to automate this uh, and it's going to be a lot lot better by doing that so first of all i need i need some redstone which we have i also need a bit of cobble do i ha i know i have the yeah uh, i need what is it 16 is that is that no even less maybe yes less because it's that isn't it Droppers, yes. Uh, let's go back to the dispensers. I need two of these bad boys. Uh, I've got no sticks. No sticks. Oh, man, four sticks there. Fine, 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 fine. Let's do it that way. Inventory a mess, as always, as ever. There we go. Right, two dispensers. We need, we need those. We also... I'm guessing there's other ways of doing this, but I'm going to be using the timer from RF Tools, uh, which is quite nice. Um, and that just means we'll be able to basically set that up uh, and put shears in these dispensers and they will automatically harvest. I think the only other thing I will need is the ender hopper. Um, there you go, which is why I want it to go uh, to the nether to get some blaze. End pearls are actually quite easy to get at the moment because you can sort of, well, at least for me, um, because you, you see them in the overworld and my sword has, like, looting seven. So I killed one yesterday on stream and got seven end pearls, which is pretty good. So, so that's not too bad. So I'm going to get all this stuff together and then we're going to upgrade our, our little doodad, uh, our little beehive shenanigan. Okay, I have some stuff together. Um... Right, let's just... I've put the ender hopper there already, so basically when I shear them, everything ends up going into there. Sometimes, because I'm stood right next to it, I might pick up one, but that won't be a problem when I'm not stood here, so that's okay. What I need to now do is put these dispensers, because they need to face into these hives. So, uh, like that, like that like that and that should be okay so right let me just do that there you go and you can see that gets sucked up by the ender hopper which is exactly what we want okay now 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 um what we can do is oh no i've got no blocks on me really 
Oh, that was that was silly. That was silly. Um, let's just come up here again. I don't know what blocks I'm using. This is all going to be probably a little bit temporary. Uh, let's use these. Why not? I quite like these diorite bits. Um, it's all going to be probably quite temporary because um, I'm going to have to keep upgrading uh, this system. So, yeah, it will have to be. There we go. So we've got that. Um, yeah, and originally I obviously used the pedestal, but it just does not quite work, which is a shame. Um, anyway... What I have here is a timer, um, and I don't know how... Mm. Yeah, that way around. That sh yeah, that'll do us. Uh, oh, now I need some redstone. So what this does is basically it sets a pulse, and you can see set the delay in ticks. 20 ticks is one second. So very, very nice. Um, so uh, I need to vaguely work out a timing. I think, I think I'm pretty... I, I had a mess around with it in a um, in a creative world, and uh, I need to start flying. I've forgotten that I can fly. So, yeah, you can see it just basically pulses. So we're just going to do that, like that. There you go. And that now pulses like that. And I think in, in my creative world, I did 900. That seemed to be a fairly decent like time and if I put shear in there and a shear in here um and we can we'll make more of those at some point um let's just have a look have I eggplant seeds uh oh what have I done hmm that's a bit weird that that happened which leads me to sort of believe that they're not well, hang on, we can sort of easily see. Yeah, it, they are facing the correct way. Otherwise, we'd be able to see, like, a different side. So I don't know what that has done. Um, right, that one's that one's got honey. How long has it left? 400 and whatever. Let's just... Let us just have a little look. But this should basically work. They're both now done. Let's have a look. Come on. Ugh. I don't really want to reset that now, but that, that, I mean, this is basically automatic now. The only thing I haven't done, uh, and that's the next step, is basically we need to get, we need to get those things out of um, the honeycombs out of there and into our, what some will call it, our centrifuge and do it like that way. Ooh, 50, okay. Are we going to, are we going to do it? Yay. There we go. All is done that works i am a genius and then we can get that out in fact let's get that out as well right now because we don't need that and i'm saving these up by the way because i've got the tier two honey no beehives uh, and to get to tier three i need basically honeycomb blocks and beeswax blocks so i'm sort of saving stuff up a little bit uh in order to do that but next we put that over there and yeah, sort this bit out. Um, put that one through. We're putting the diamonds through currently. I don't know what happens if I put that through. Um, I don't know yet, but I've only got... I've only got... Look look at that. I've only got enough for two of those yet, and I need... <laughs> I need so much more of these. That's why we need to... We need to do that. Now, the one thing I don't know yet, I haven't tested, is if I were to break one of these with the bees in, um, are those bees lost to me? I kind of think they might be. So I'm going to have to stand here and kind of collect all my bees again and then put them back out, I guess. Um, that's sort of what I'm thinking. Uh, how how are those? Are those honeyed yet? No, they're not. Hmm. Hmm. So that's not, that's not quite right. I might need a little bit more time. Yeah. I'm going to play with that a bit. Okay. Okay, so this is working quite nicely so far. Um, if we look in there, we can see we've got some stuff in here, which is lovely. So what I need to sort of do is get these into here, uh, and I'm going to use the Pretty Pipes mod. Now, this is not really a mod that I've played with, but um, I sort of... I think I vaguely know how it works, at least enough. So you make a pipe, basically... Uh, pretty much like that, make a blank module, and I've made a low extraction module. And then if we 
if we click on there, you can see it's got that. And we should now see, there we go, that that is basically putting stuff in here. And are we going to see it there? Oh, oh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay, excellent. So now let's get, uh, let's get, can I? Yeah, get that one. And have I got any kind of moving thing for chests? You know what? I don't actually know. There's no moving ones. Um, no. Um, hang on. What are those doohickeys called with the things? Uh, transport things. Well, let's have a look. I don't think there is transport. No. What was oh, man? I have no idea. I, I don't think we've got that where I can just do that. How do we move a chest? Oh, oh I think I saw somewhere. Um, aha. Packing tape. Um, right, paper and a slime ball. And I don't know if I've got a slime ball spare. Uh, does not look like it. Okay, so basically, um, I think we can make slime somehow. Pink slime not. Not pink slime, but we can make... Oh, jellyfish, yeah. Uh, I can make a magma cream. Can I use a magma block? Doesn't look like... Oh, wow. Hey, does look kind of neat. Those look pretty cool. Um, it doesn't look like it, but I'm guessing that's basically the way. So, uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go do that uh, so that we can move that over there. Although I don't want everything to be really to be doing this at at present because I've got to I've got to save everything up. So I'm just gonna take that out, and I think that just means that everything will stay in here for now. Um, yeah. Oh, there we go. That was stuff. Stuff happened then. Yes, it did. Okay. Okay. So. Um, I'm basically going to let this run until it we get enough um, to make all of the combs that I need because uh, that would be nice basically. And what I'm going to do is I want yeah I want two tier four beehives. That should be 32 bees that we can have in there basically, which will be nice. Um, beehive. Um, what's that one? Oh, that's just a normal Minecraft one. Uh, so we're up. Up to that one, that's what I'm sort of aiming at, basically. It's going to take a little while longer for me for me to get. I've already got the honey blocks, but then I need more honeycomb blocks as well. So it's going to take me a little bit of time, but uh, I think it's going to be worth it. Okay, I have a one tier four beehive. So just collected all the bees that I had here. I'm just going to try... Ow, ow, ow. Just gently... To get those. Uh, I'm just going to put one up now, like that. Um, have you just gone like the other way? I feel like that's the weird way round, right? And oh no, now you're in. Hey, <laughs> and the um. Okay, you know what I should do? Let's just let's just move that quickly. Let's put that there. Um, that's gone in there. There we go. Right. Let's do that. Bees. Just so that we can get in here and get that back. Right. Let's just put you back again. Why are you going the other way? Is that not weird? I, f I feel... Why are you being weird? Right, if I right, if I do that, oh, that's so that's that's the normal thing, right? What about if I did it? Just go in there. Yes, it did. What about what about what about if I that? It still goes like a different way. How bizarre is that? I hope that works, um, because that is annoying if it doesn't. Um, that can take sixteen bees. So let's start counting one. Two. Um, you know what? I'm not going to do those at the moment. Two. Oh, hey, hey. Hey, uh, are you already in there? Yes, you are. <laughs> Two, three, 
four, five. Okay, we've got some in here. Uh, RNGB, yeah, not those. Five. Let's do another iron. Six. Um, what else have we got up here that might be interesting? Gold. Let's do a couple of golds. That's eight. Halfway there. That's not bad. Um, this we've, I've got skeleton bees, but I think they just work at night. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Pigman, redstone, ender, I presume as well. Oh, yeah, I've got a netherite bee as well. Quartz bee. I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, there it is. Do information uh, night, light level night. So I sort of think I shouldn't do those yet. I shouldn't mix them because that will be um, confusing, basically. So let's do some more of these. Let's just do what we'll be swimming in diamonds. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four. Four more. Four more. Uh, nope. Not that one. Nether quartz. No more irons. Doesn't look like it. Maybe we leave it at that for now. I know I could do stuff like redstone and lapis as well. Um, I guess maybe coal. Maybe we'll just do four coal ones. It's just that those really, really... The coal, the coal bee is very OP, I've got to say. There we go. Do your thing. I hope that that works, because um, that is so annoying if it doesn't. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna test this now, just to see if it works. Basically, have I got anything to eat? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. On to testy, testy. I finally, finally, finally have myself another um, tier four beehive. I had to move this one completely, um, because what happened is, for whatever reason, when you put it down against a dispenser. It faces, you know, against the dispenser. So bees go in, but they can't come out, which makes no sense. But there you go. That is basically exactly what happens. So I'm going to have to put this one down now. And yeah, okay. Uh, ow, 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 ow. I didn't get that. That's okay. Um, let's just do that quickly. Oh, man. Nope, that's not at all what I wanted to do. There we go. Right, that... There we go, uh, and now I need to huh, do that there like that, and that there like that. Okay, so that now is another beehive, so we can put another another 16 bees in there. And if you come along here and have a look, I, a, I need to get rid of that. I need to put some shears in there. Let's make some more shears now. There we go. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Lovely stuff. Um, I need, I need huh, to look at this. There we go. So you can see I've got quite a bit of stuff built up now because basically the centrifuge, not that fast. Not that fast at all. Um, but it is basically automatic until it runs out of glass bottles. So I'm probably going to put another hopper against here with just full of um, glass bottles that can be done um, I might put another centrifuge next to this as well and um, just as well uh, I made a pipe wrench as well just because it was attaching itself to the hopper uh, so you can sort of do that but other than that this is basically um, this is basically automatic and what I thought about doing is um, I thought we'd basically try to put some um some nighttime ones down as well so i thought let's put two of those in let's let's put you in there um i've got an ender one uh, a netherite one uh nether quartz and i'm pretty certain let's have a look bees um so if you want to find out, on the information tab, it says here, traits, nether, uh, light level, night. 
So I think, basically, when it's daytime, these guys won't come out. Um, basically, uh, a Wither Bee, I'm guessing, is the same. Uh, spawns in World False. Uh, oh, but it doesn't say there if that is... Like, what what time of day that is, or anything like that. Interesting. Uh, Pigman, Quartzby... Not too bothered. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I do have a Witherby somewhere. Coal Witherby. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do seven. That's like a lot of nighttime guys. Um Yeah. Oh, have I got a skeleton one? No. There we go. So we're gonna try it, I guess, with these guys. And see if this works. I have no idea. I'm also a little bit scared of putting them out in the daytime. Let's put that out and see what it does. Also, I should probably check a uh, skeleton. What flowers does it like? Uh, oh, it doesn't say. I presume anything then if it doesn't say here. It just looks a little bit confused. Zombie bee. Right, okay, let's... Let's just start filling this up with some more. There we go. And that is another eight. Okay, so we could literally put another eight in here if we wanted, if we needed. I'm basically going to AFK until... Um, oh, let's just do it this way. There we go. And then I don't... Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Well, I'm going to leave this and sort of see what happens, basically. But if that wither bee does its thing, we might be able to basically get... Uh, with the honeycombs, which if you put through a centrifuge, there you go, you get a 1% chance of getting a nether star, which is pretty low, but it's, you know, fairly nice. So that's quite nice. We haven't done any breeding yet, any bee breeding yet, but if you look at the, the thing, basically, it tells you what to do. So for a wither bee, for instance, you can actually breed that properly. You can find these in the nether. I, oh, actually, I don't think so. I think someone just donated one to me. Um, but basically, there you go, a coal bee and a skeleton bee. And you give the coal bee four poppies, and then the skeleton bee eight of these small flowers, you can see, except any Minecraft small flowers. So any small flowers, so, but eight of them, four for those, eight for those, and you, you've got 50% chance of getting it with a bee. So that's sort of how bee breeding works. It's, you know, the the standard animal, anim, you know, Minecraft breeding. So that, I think, I think that makes sense. Uh, just, but just in case, but... This should basically do us, really, for a while. I am going to make another centrifuge, I think, um, just to make that uh, a little bit faster, because this is not fast, man. And I know there's another centrifuge. Um, sentry. Uh, yeah, centrifuge controller. Comfort tank comes into resources using RF, but we need, like, a lot more stuff, basically. Um, so that's going to take that's gonna take a while, probably. Uh, control for multi-block centrifuge. Yeah, okay. And I think it can this can do th like three combs at a time, which is quite nice obviously. So, um that's probably going to be it for today from me. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you are enjoying the series and hopefully if you've uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh. Wait, 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 wait. Is this the ender bee? Oh. Is does that I'm guessing that might teleport. Oh, that is so annoying if that teleports. That's got to be it, right? Because there's no other way of getting out here. Oh, that's a, such a cheeky bee. Okay. Well, now it's the end without the ender bee. What a cheeky little thing. Right. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully that has helped you a little bit of at least how to automate this. I'm still learning, though, as you can tell, um, because it's a new mod and it's all exciting. And I like that. So, yeah. Uh, I've been Hector. Do the like and comment and subscribe thing if you fancy. I will hopefully see you in the next one, and we'll probably do some more bees, but we might start also getting into some mechanism. We need some refined storage and all of that kind of palaver. With this now, we're getting so much coal that actually, you know what? Uh, I think, basically, having um, having some sort of generator to produce power would be a good thing. But anyway, that's next time. See you later. Bye-bye.